Hi, and welcome to the Hyborian Insider. My name is Erling Ellingsen, and I'm going to take you into the core of Age of Conan. Hi and welcome. In this edition of the Hyborian Insider, we're going to be talking about crafting and we're going to be talking about city building. Now, we find ourselves in this area that you can see here on a map called Poitain. It's a place in Aquilonia and we like to call it a resource and gathering area. It basically means that players can walk into this area, they can pick up a trade, uh, they can gather different kinds of resources and if their guild grows big enough, they can actually create an entire guild city. Now, our journey starts here in the village of Kaina. And Kaina is a place where you can pick up a trade, you can uh, buy different kinds of goods and so on. Now all progression in crafting in Age of Conan is actually based on doing quests. For instance, I'm talking to this woodcutter trainer right here, and he tells me, he sends me on a quest to go out and, 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 and chop down a tree. It's not the most noble of quests, but it is a quest all the same, of course. Now we also have craft professions. And craft professions can be anything from uh, weaponsmiths to alchemists and so on. And if I want to create something, I simply bring up this uh, trade skill book that you can see here. And it basically lists all the different recipes that I have learned. And to create something, I just click on, uh, on a recipe. And the game tells me what resources I need in order to create that item. Now, it's not all about chopping down trees or hammering at workbenches. There's also uh, an abundance of wildlife in Poitain. And you can actually uh, hunt down these animals that you see here. So it's sort of like Age of Empires, where you send out your hunters, the hunter being you, for instance, to, to take down animals. And you can actually loot these animals. You can skin them, you can take off their skin, you can use their meat, and you can use all of these stuff in, uh, in crafting, actually. Now, eventually, your guild is going to be big enough uh, that you will be able to create a player city. So your guild would just go into this area that you can see here. It, it'll claim uh, a portion of land and it will interact with these foundation stones that you can see here to create different kinds of building that will benefit your guild directly. Now to create something, you just run up to one of these foundation stones, you click on it. So for instance here, you can build a keep, as you can see behind me. Uh, by hovering my mouse over, over the keep icon, it tells me what resources I need, for instance, uh, wood and gold and iron in order to create it. And I basically just click on this uh, keep and you will actually see the keep rising up from the ground, sort of like in a real-time strategy game uh, where you're one of these little dudes running around uh, actually creating everything. Now all of these buildings can be entered, such as the guild keep that you can see here, so it's perfect for, for instance, throwing a party. Now you also want to build a trade post, and trade posts are sort of like the auction houses of Hyboria. It's, uh, it's a place where you can buy and sell wares with other players from all around on that same server as you are on. Now you can also create buildings that are necessary for crafters. For instance, the Thieves Guild, uh, the Blacksmith, or the Alchemist Tower, for instance, that you can see here, uh, that you can see being built here uh, behind me. Now if I build this Alchemist Tower that you can see here, all the alchemists in my guild will have special benefits. They will be able to create potions that no one else are able to create uh, unless they too are in a guild that owns uh, uh, an alchemist tower. So you really get that extra edge. Now you also want to create walls around your city. You will create the gate, you will create the different towers and actual, the actual walls in between. And all walls can actually be scaled. You can walk on top of, uh, of any wall and you can, for instance, place your player archers out there and they will actually get a benefit from standing up at a height shooting at whoever is down below. And if you want to go even further, you can actually upgrade all the different buildings in your player city so they look even more incredible. And that's the thing about uh, player cities. Eventually, other players are going to look at this and think, wow, that's something we want to do as well.